Welcome to Microgames Experiments. Subscribe the channel to enrich your laboratory skills. In this video, we are going to test an iodized salt sample for the determination of iodine content. Test involves four steps, chemical preparation, sample preparation, titration, and calculation. To do the test, we need a balance machine, buried with stand, measuring cylinder, IV flask, spatula, filler, pipette, test tube, rack, funnel, beaker, and hot plate. Among the chemicals, we need starch, sodium thiosulfate, and potassium iodide. Let's start the analysis. Before going for the main test, we will prepare chemicals and reagents. For the preparation of 1% starch solution, dissolve 0.5 gram of starch powder in 50 ml boiling water. Boil and stir the solution to dissolve the starch in water completely. After dissolving the starch, filter the solution immediately using a filter paper. Collect the filtrate and use it in the test as 1% starch indicator. For the preparation of 0.005 normal sodium thiosulfate, dissolve 0.1 to 4 gram sodium thiosulfate in 80 ml distilled water and add 0.01 gram sodium carbonate. It. Heat the solution to dissolve the sodium thiosulfate crystal completely. Cool the solution and add enough distilled water to make the final volume of 100 ml. Standardize the solution before use. For the preparation of 10% potassium iodide, just dissolve 10 gram potassium iodide crystal in about 80 ml distilled water. Shake and vortex to dissolve the potassium iodide completely. Add enough water to make the final volume of 100 ml. Now we will prepare our sample. Take weight of about 10 gram of iodized salt sample. Note the sample weight. Transfer the sample in an IV flask. Measure 50 ml distilled water and pour into the flask containing the salt sample. Shake and rotate the flask to dissolve the sample in water completely. Now add 5 ml of 2 normal sulfuric acid. Add 5 ml of 10% potassium iodide into the flask. Shake and rotate the flask to mix the solution properly. Yellow color solution will appear if iodine is present. Now, keep the flask in dark for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, bring the flask back for titration. Take 0.005 normal sodium thiosulfate in a burette. Note the initial burette reading. Stir titration by liberating the sodium thiosulfate solution from the burette. If the yellow color starts to fade out, add 1 ml of 1% starch indicator solution and resume the titration with vigorous agitation of the flask.
titration when the solution color becomes colorless. Note the final burial trading. Now we will calculate the iodine content of our sample. At first, we will put the values in the right side of the board. Sample weight WS is 10.04856 grams. Normality of sodium thiosulfate is 0.005. We can find the volume of 0.005 normal sodium thiosulfate by subtracting the final burette reading from the initial reading, which is 3.5 ml. Factor of this calculation is 2114. By solving the equation, we get the iron value of our sample is 36.81 ppm.